Hello everyone. Today TDT Chanel please send newsletters with content Colin Powell says he's voting for Hillary Clinton Former Secretary of State Colin Powell announced he would endorse and vote for Hillary Clinton. The latest high-profile Republican official to abandon his party's nominee in favor of the Democrat. Powell's endorsement does not come as much of a surprise. Since leaving office, he has cultivated a reputation as a moderate and endorsed President Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012. In an email hacked from his account and published in September, Powell denounced GOP nominee Donald Trump as a national disgrace, who was in the process of destroying himself. No need for Dems to attack him. Powell wrote in a June 17 email to a former aide. In another email to the same aide in August, Powell slammed Trump's pursuit of a conspiracy theory that Obama was not born in the United States as racist and tutted Trump's decision to bring into his campaign former Fox News chairman Roger Isles, who had just left Fox amid numerous allegations of sexual harassment. A longtime friend of Clinton's, Powell nonetheless was reluctant to vote for her, at least until Trump came on the scene. In an email from July 2014 to New York financier Jeffrey Leeds that was disclosed after the hack, Powell mused on Clinton's drawbacks. I would rather not have to vote for her. Although she is a friend I respect, Powell wrote. A 70-year person with a long track record, unbridled ambition, greedy, not transformational. With a husband still dicking bimbos at home. Powell also found himself at odds with Clinton this summer as the Democratic nominee struggled to put to rest questions about her use of a private email server while she led the State Department. Clinton told the FBI in an interview she had sought Powell's advice on how to handle personal communications as she was starting out at State and that Powell described his efforts to avoid using State systems. Colin L. Powell, the Republican former Secretary of State, said on Tuesday that he planned to vote for Hillary Clinton for president as he condemned her rival, Donald J. Trump, at an event on Long Island. Speaking before the Long Island Association, a trade group that frequently hosts political figures, Mr. Powell divulged his intentions come election day. I am voting for Hillary Clinton, he said, according to Matthew Cohen, a spokesman for the association. Mr. Powell went on to praise Mrs. Clinton for her skills as a leader and her experience. Paul Pachter, a Long Island Association board member, said that Mr. Powell was blunt. He said he would support Hillary Clinton and he also elaborated on several reasons why he felt that Donald Trump was not the right candidate, he said. He spoke about his inexperience. He spoke about the messages that he's sending out every day to his supporters. Which really paints our country in a negative light across the globe with all our allies. The comments were a change from Mr. Powell's tone and hacked emails from his inbox that were made public in September. In the emails, Mr. Powell criticized Mr. Trump but also expressed bitterness at Mrs. Clinton for repeatedly pointing to Mr. Powell's email habits to explain away her own use of a private email server while she ran the State Department. In August, Powell told People magazine that Clinton's campaign aides had been trying to blame him for her use of private email servers. In September, House Democrats highlighted a newly released email exchange between Clinton and Powell right after she took over the cabinet position in 2009 in which he talked about skirting State Department servers. Powell served as Secretary of State from January 2001 through January 2005 and had previously served under President George H.W. Bush as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and under President Ronald Reagan as National Security Advisor. Thank you for listening on the news. See you in the next newsletter. Subscribe up to support the O. Dang channel offline.